One of the coolest design features offered in many homes is operable wall systems. And I'm excited to have Nick Winnick today here from Nano Wall Systems. Nick, can you explain a little bit more about Assured Corporation and Nano Wall and your background and how you all got started with you? Absolutely. So I work for Assured Corporation Architectural Windows and Doors. I've been there since 2014. Uh, we are manufacturers representatives for some of the top tier fenestration solutions in the industry. I myself have been our NanoWall specialist for the last 10 years. Okay, let's talk a little bit about NanoWall, what they are, uh, their operable wall systems. Uh, let's dig into that a little bit if clients are unfamiliar with, with the, the brand NanoWall and what they actually do. Absolutely. So I think the way you put it is perfect. NanoWall is in a large operable wall systems provider. Um, and they offer these large operable walls in a few different capacities. The three main type systems that we work with are going to be folding, single track sliding, and minimal frame sliding glass walls. They are the industry leader in all three of those categories, um, always improving things, building some of the largest and highest performing systems available in market today. And you're not just in the residential market, you also branch out into the commercial side as well, right? That's correct. Yeah. Uh, we were, could be about a 50-50 split at this point. We, do, we, we started as a residential company, um, but realized that these systems, as they're performing so well against exterior or climate elements, uh, we learned that they perform very well against acoustic elements as well. So that was kind of what allowed us to venture into the interiors market um, and then also into the commercial market as well. I was telling Justin, I was looking at the website yesterday, and I was just amazed with the, the number of products that are available on your, on your uh, website. Absolutely. And then, you know, ranging from everything from the, the Florida impact rated systems to interior office solutions to the residential side that we're looking at. Yeah, they, uh, they have 21 unique systems right now, uh, with all of them being purpose built. Uh, everything with NanoWall is proprietary apart from the glass. Um, so, yeah, they, they, they build these systems with intent, whether it be the Florida product approved system that is made for hurricane rated and code compliance or some of our interior acoustically rated systems that are really uh, meant to you know, separate sound uh, acoustically between spaces, or some of our exterior systems, which really are geared around performance. Um, with this company being, um, th these doors being German engineered, uh, and our parent company being out of Germany, these doors are performing in the harshest climates in the world. Um, so when we bring them here into the Midwest, um, as I mentioned, this is you know more like an eight out of ten on the uh, the scale of what uh, what what harsh climates harsh can climate. be. Um, but yeah, they uh, they have systems with U values that are dropping into the point two O's, um, and that's really important when you're talking about putting you know potentially a you know eighteen foot wide by ten foot tall hole in the side of your home. You want to make sure that you're keeping the outside out and the inside in. Exactly. I think you know when we were looking for for companies to to offer clients. Um, that was a, that was a big key. I know Chris was a big proponent of that. You know, when we're searching for for a product line to offer, um, you know, like you said, putting a hole in your house and making sure that's sealed up in some of the harshest climates is key. I feel like you guys have always been a pioneer and a leader in the the operable wall system industry. Um, why don't you hit a little bit of background about Nano Wall, if you could, kind of explain to everybody where, how it started and when it started. Absolutely. So NanoWall is actually a company that was formed in California in 1986. And so their original bifold or first system they were doing was a bifold wood door um, that was wood framed, glass inside. And they immediately recognized that the market for this was you know, far larger than they ever anticipated. Um, and at a certain point, you know, right off the bat, the demand for these walls grew greater than what their manufacturing capabilities were. Uh, so they began to start to search for the world leader. And so, as I mentioned, SolarLux, the company that is our, uh, our partner company, um, is the one who actually invented the bifolding door for exterior applications. Wow, okay. Uh, we've been to the factory over there, and like all great ideas, it <laughs> seems, um, the first bifold door sketch was done on a beer coaster. <laughs> of um, course, in Germany. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, NanoWall sought them out as a partner, and in 1996, they formally um, became partners with, with SolarLux. And uh, to this day, about 50% of the manufacturing is done in Germany, um, and the other half is done here in the States. And um, I think that speaks volumes to the company that NanoWall is as well, um, because it's, it's fairly rare for a European company to want to give up manufacturing to someone in the States. It's a little bit of a distrust thing sometimes of, you know, we kind of do it uh, the best way, 
and we yeah. want to maintain that level of, of quality. Uh, but Nanowall over the years has proven themselves worthy of, of building these systems at the highest level um, and, and keeping that quality at, at, at that top tier. I agree. Yeah. I mean, just the product offerings, when we were looking at sills, I mean, how, how many different sill options were there when we were looking at, I mean, because one of the more recent projects that, that we're working on is going to Colorado, very harsh climate again. Yep. So that was, a, that was a big concern for us. So can you speak, speak a little bit about the sill options when you get into your products? Absolutely. So again, there are, you know, a number of different systems and each one offers a different um, varying set of sills. But when it comes to the folding units, the most common things we are gonna see are really three different sills. And they're, they're tiered in performance. So the entry level, which is going to most often be applicable into like conditioned spaces or really well covered three or four season rooms is our flush sill. Um, it's not going to give us the best water protection, but that's not what it was designed to do. That particular sill is going to be perfectly flush and it's meant to have the least obstruction between spaces. Okay. And then from there, when we're talking exteriors, more often than not, we are going to be starting with what we call our low profile saddle sill. And so that low profile saddle sill is our middle tier as far as performance goes against air and water, is generally you know, far sufficient for you know, any application we wanna use it in. And it is a healthy balance of, again, air and water performance, as well as seamlessly blending spaces. Um, it sits just a half inch above the finished floor, really isn't any bit of a trip hazard. It's very comfortable to step on barefoot. Um, and so we use it a lot residentially for those reasons, um, but it is an ADA compliant sill. So when you get into commercial applications, it meets the requirements for ADA. So that sort of speaks to how low profile and very comfortable sure. and easy it is to transition. And then from there, what we do is we get into what we call our performance sill. And so our performance sill is going to be when we're in the, you know, the harshest elevation or, you know, of the building where you're going to take on the most rain, the most snow load, the most wind. Um, and you just want to make sure that you have that absolute peace of mind that again, the water, the air, the outdoors are going to stay out. And that, um, when you come home, you're going to have, you know, a comfortable living space just to the inside of that. And that was a big factor when we were looking for a manufacturer to partner with, there was other, uh, manufacturers out there, but the performance of the NanoWall system is really what drove us to you folks, as well as the, the sheer expanse of the, the door size. You know, when, when you're talking a 20 foot wide door that's 10 foot tall, that's pretty impressive when, you, when you're sitting in your living room looking at the mountain or the lake. It's awesome. And yeah. especially be able to open it up and slide it out of the way so that you can walk out and bring the outdoor to the inside. It's yeah. just an, an awesome product. That, that's very well said. You're absolutely right. And, yeah. and it can be nerve wracking, especially from the you know, builder contractor side of, again, I'm, I'm putting a 20 foot by 10 foot tall hole in the side of this building. Um, and I want to make sure that the living space to the interior is comfortable. And that is one thing that NanoWall focus on, focuses on is making sure that the, the performance level of these systems meet that expectation. You don't want to have a wall that's all glass. Yes, the view is beautiful. However, I can't sit anywhere near it because it's radiating the cold in the winters through or, you know, feels a little bit like a magnifying glass effect in the summers because our climate here in the Midwest, you know, has extremes on both ends. Mm -hmm. It's going to be extremely warm at some times and it's going to be extremely cold at others. And these systems do a really good job of, of performing in both of those extremes. So we talked about sills. What about the glass option? Is there, obviously there's double pane glass, um, but what about triple pane and, and low E and argon gas? Can you get into that a little bit as far as performance of the glass as well? Yes, absolutely. So um, the glass is the one thing with the nanowall systems that is not proprietary. So we actually use a lot of the major um, manufacturers in the glass world. Um, offering single glazing when you're going to be talking about more of your interior applications, then getting into, which is the most common for us, your dual glazed, low E insulated glazing. Um, that low E glass is going to offer different low E coatings, which is going to steer us towards maybe we do want a little bit of solar heat gain when we're in a colder, colder climate where we want that glass to actually help heat the house in the winter, use some of the sun to kind of make the comfort on the inside of that, that wall a little bit warmer. Uh, we may want to use a, a different low E coating that is going to alleviate that because, you know, we have high exposure to sun and we do not want any, any gain of that heat. We are seeing more and more uh, people venturing into the, the triple glaze realm. Okay. That triple glaze glass does a very good job. Um, we are getting into U values as low as 0.20 with our aluminum clad system when we triple glaze it. 
to put that into perspective, that is performing as well as some walls. <laughs> so we have this, you know, beautiful nano wall system, this glass wall system that is, that is, you know, blending us to the exterior. Yet we have the comfort of feeling like it's not there as far as letting energy or, you know, temperature transfer through the wall. There's also custom glass options that are available. There are tintings that are offered. Sometimes people want to do like a re reflective type glass where, you know, when you're out on the outside, it kind of reflects back to you sure. so that you're not seeing in real well. In the home. Sure, makes yep. sense. There's colors and tintings. Um, there is decorative glass. And then what's inter interesting about NanoWall is that if there is for some reason something that we cannot source or supply, though we have a very vast offering of things we can, they're willing to bring these systems to market at what we call unglazed. So what we'll do is we'll work locally with someone like you or someone like a glazing contractor who can source the things that our client or customer are looking for. And then our certified team will help make sure that, you know, we're staying within the requirements for that. And generally what that is, is so long as this doesn't take up a larger glazing cavity than we have to offer, so long as it doesn't weigh more than the rollers can hold, we're willing to work with you guys to, to kind of put some creative things into these into these walls so that again, the end user is getting exactly what they're looking for. Right. Yeah. I know you guys were, were out, you know, when we were designing the current project, you guys put, I don't want to say limitations, but like, Hey, here, here's the maximum amount of panels we can have. You guys were wanting to make sure that that door performed well for years down the road. So that that's a great peace of mind. You guys aren't just want to create a, a cool looking product for when it's first installed. You're worried about that product down the road. Um, well, when we're talking about glazing, can you spend a minute and tell us some of the benefits of the dry glazing that NanoWall uses? Absolutely. So um, with the dry glazing that NanoWall uses, it is something that's extremely um, high performing, but also easy in the capacity that things happen. We don't want to um, think that they're going to, but in the, um, in the instance that a piece of glass gets broken or a seal failure happens and this piece of glass is no longer performing, the benefit of that dry glazing is that it's very easy to remove that piece of glass on site, put in the new piece of glass, tuck back into the stops, whether it be an aluminum or wood system, and not have to dismount that entire system or, or create a new panel. Um, so it saves on cost, it saves on time, um, and it's just very easy. I use the term with NanoWall and it kind of goes into uh, a lot of their other components like rollers and other things, but what I call future-proofing. So they have a lot of adjustability within the system as well as things like dry glazing that make for anything that can happen in the future, something that they can fix relatively easily. We talked about one, one, one project being 20 feet wide by 10 foot tall. What, what is like the maximum that you guys can do in like width and height? Um, is there some limitations there? So that's a great question. Um, at one point there was. Okay. With the advent of our generation four folding systems now, um, we are doing what we call fourfold and sixfold panel sets. And so in doing that, this has now allowed us to go for infinite widths with folding systems. Wow, okay. So the truth is we are limited only by the type of structure that can be provided for us. Okay. Because we have a header requirement and a deflection requirement, the size of these systems are only limited by, you know, what type of beam can meet those requirements and how wide you can go with that. Okay. But the widths are unlimited. You can continue on with panels you know, indefinitely again, structure um, abiding. But height, if we are talking about folding systems, with the height, we are gonna limit our systems to about 10 foot two when you want the use of a swing door. Okay. So a lot of these systems, again, in our climate, you know, we don't wanna open 20 foot of wall every single day, but we may, may wanna be able to enter and exit through this opening. So certain configurations allow us to use what we call an independent swing door or a man door which is gonna operate just like any door in your home, a door into a room, the front door. Uh, and we can work those into the systems where you're just operating that single panel and not the rest. Mm -hmm. Those systems are gonna have a max height of 10 foot two. If we don't have the need for a door and we're in even configs where it's all folding type panels, we actually have the ability to go up to 12 foot tall with our folding systems. Oh wow, okay, that's impressive. What about, okay, so if you have a swing door on one end, you just wanna open that, is there options for, for screens with your products? Absolutely. How, how, how does that work? Absolutely. There are a lot of screening options available on the market today now. Okay. The most common being your horizontal retractable screens or your vertical retractable screens. You don't see your typical slider screens on folding walls just because they can't get big enough. There's no place for them. So retractable screens are what are most practical for a large operable wall system. Mm -hmm. 
And so my favorite is the horizontal screens. They're the easiest to use. They're going to be a little bit more cost effective and they're just the most practical. With a horizontal screen, like you said, when you have a single door, you may have a 20 foot opening, but you may only want to open that screen three feet. Right. When you have a manually operated horizontal screen, it's extremely easy. You open that door, you open the screen three feet, you walk through it, you close it. You don't have to go the whole length. Another option are the vertical retractable screens. Now these are very neat, but they're a little bit more mechanical, generally um, have motors and are automated. And it's a little bit of an all or nothing type deal. It's gonna open that entire 20 foot opening. It's gonna take a few seconds. And then when it's done, it's gonna close back down. So it has its place. It's very neat. I see a lot of those commercially, um, but I'm a big fan of the horizontal retractable screens for their practicality and their ease of use um, when you're gonna be entering and exiting a space quite a bit. Sure. Does the screen matter? Um, you know, I, I see some of your panels go to the exterior or fold to the exterior and fold to the interior. Does it make a difference when, you're, when you want a screen or not? It does. Yeah. It absolutely does. Most screen manufacturers are going to limit us to being to the interior. And the reason for that is our doors were always meant to be on the outside. They're meant to withstand the harsh climates. They're meant to, to live there. These screen systems oftentimes aren't. So screen manufacturers generally are going to want their screen system to the interior of an outswinging system. Okay. That way they're protected from the harshest of the elements from uh, water getting into a track and then freezing and potentially causing issues there. So there are screens, horizontal retracting screens that are available on the exterior, but your offerings are a little bit more limited. So when you are looking to use a retractable screen, generally we're talking about an outswing folding unit. Okay. So are there key questions that you start the process with the homeowner to, 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 to establish what line of product they're going to use? I, I know that we spend time with our customers and ask them questions like, how do you, how do you, uh, you know, envision using your windows in your house? Seems like a crazy question, but really what we're asking about is operation. Is there a need for an operable window above the kitchen sink or can it be a fixed window or are you looking for ventilation? Should it be an awning or, or a sliding window or what the case may be? And I think you guys go through sort of the same process. You're absolutely correct. Um, it's first very important to understand the way that your client envisions using the space. There's a way that I look at it. There's a way that you look at it. But the most important is the way that the client looks at it. So that's the first conversation we have is, you know, what do you intend to use this for? What are kind of the, the features that you're looking for? Um, and how do you intend on using this space? And so that is where we start. Um, and that's usually going to dictate whether systems are going to be in swing or out swing. If the, if the screen isn't a part, you know, perhaps they're saying, well, the most time is going to be spent right here on the inside, right up against this wall. And that's really what the space is going to be. And when we open it, the outside is just going to be a bonus. You know, so we'll use an outswing unit because we don't want to bring panels in and kind of obstruct perhaps their furniture layout or the way they intend on using the space. On the flip side, there's people who are like, I'm going to be outside right here. That's why I'm putting this wall. I want to sort of bring, you know, the outdoors in um, and I intend on using the exterior space. I'm going to have certain furniture right here. My grill is going to be right here. And so in those capacities, we, we, we may want to lean towards an in-swing system um, because we don't want to affect the space as the way they intend on using it. Now, beyond that, NanoWall offers three different type systems within their, their models that they have. They offer folding, single track sliding, and minimal, minimal frame sliding glass walls, which is essentially a multi-slide. And so that's the next question that I ask them is, you know, what type of system are you envisioning using for, using for this space? And um, I always try to steer them towards folding first. Folding systems are gonna be better air and water performers. They're easier for the end user to operate. They are more cost effective than the other systems. They have shorter lead times, which usually lends itself well to build schedules. Um, so whenever we can make folding systems work, and they're extremely capable, generally that's the right system to use. Sometimes there are, there are applications where people may want like inside outside corners they may want panels that are remote stacking somewhere, nowhere near where the opening was, um, or other things in that vein. And, and when that's the case, that's when we'll start to get into the single track sliding systems. Um, they're a little bit more capable, uh, but a little bit less user friendly to a residential application. More so, capable from a, des a design standard from- From solving, customization. Yeah, solving Correct. more, more uh, solutions. Exactly. Okay. Yep, um, but residentially, generally folding is going to be the correct answer. So. As long as we get to that point with them um, and that, you know, we agree that folding you know, is indeed the right thing and it is what I'm looking for and it really meets all the criteria of the way that I'm envisioning this space, 
then what we'll do is we'll move on to, you know, what type of aesthetic are you looking to achieve with this folding system? Because we do have quite a few different folding systems uh, with, with different aesthetics. We have your aluminum and all glass systems that lend themselves really well to a very modern aesthetic with slim lines, lots of glass, um, and you know, flat paint finishes that just re look really sleek. But there are other applications that you know, we may use in a, in a log home where we want that wood, we want the warmth feeling. Um, and, and maybe that aluminum or that metal feel doesn't quite fit with what we're doing. So we then start to choose which type of folding system is going to make the most sense based on the, the finishes and the aesthetic that they're looking to achieve. Can we take a minute and talk about uh, hardware operation? Uh, you know, we're familiar with the folding glass wall. And uh, I think from what I've seen, there's a, there's a head bolt, foot bolt for every two panels. Is that correct? You're absolutely right. And that is actually the next piece in this step. So it seems like you've been there and uh, I've done a few of these things. <laughs> Um, because the hardware is the next piece that we focus on. Uh, and you're exactly correct. In a folding system, there are going to be two main different types of hardware that go on there. And it is a piece of hardware for the swing door, when we have that one panel that is going to operate independent of the rest of the system. And then what we have, then we have what we call a two-point flat folding handle that is going to be at every meeting point of every two panels. So it's the part that is going to leave the plane of the opening is where that hardware is. We don't have a piece of hardware, which at the rolling point we call it, so it's going to alternate every other panel meeting point. And what's nice about the way that NanoWall does it is we actually don't have any flush bolts on any of our systems. So within these folding systems, that two-point hardware is completely concealed within the panel. So when I take that handle, which is going to be a 180-degree action handle, the handle will be pointed straight down when it's in its locked position. We are going to then take that handle, rotate it up 180 degrees, and in doing so, internally it is going to draw that bolt in from the head, draw that bolt in from the sill, and allow us to then fold those two panels. And you're gonna do that again at every other meeting point until you've collapsed these panels into your, into your stack. Um, what's really nice, again, when you're gonna have a 10 foot, 12 foot tall wall, having that, that locking done internally is really nice so that you don't have to reach up, get a step stool, you know, go up to that 12 foot height and pull that flush bolt down. You're not bending over every six feet or every other panel meeting point and having to pull that up. Everything is done right at 41 and 3 eighths handle height, unless you guys specify otherwise. Um, we may have a tall person who might want it a little bit taller and we can accommodate. Um, we may be doing a window unit where we want to bring it a little bit lower because that, that window unit is going to be set off the floor. Um, but it is a, a very important piece that we, we then pick out you know, what type of, of function that they want and the hardware that they're going to use. I think making it convenient is going to make that client use that door more often you know if you if it if it's clumsy and you're getting on stools or whatever like you said they're not going to use it so by making it convenient they're going to use it and, and enjoy it and enjoy the space then um i i say you know a lot of a lot of the homes that we design are going to have um maybe a different window manufacturer in the rest of the home and then and correct me if i'm wrong but and then insert your system at a great room or a covered porch area four seasons room so maybe the colors, how, how do you color match or how, how does the co exterior color work with another window manufacturer? How do you guys alleviate the colors or match the colors? You're absolutely correct. That is, a, that is an important component in this. And so when I first started with the company, Nanowall actually had um, only seven standard finishes. And um, they realized the need that we are a feature piece. We are not doing all of the windows. We're not doing all the doors on the rest of the home. And we... We need to do a better job of being able to match what they do. So Nanowall now offers 50 standard finishes. Wow. And in those 50 standard finishes, there are a few that match the three major aluminum clad manufacturers finishes. Not all of them, but some of them. Um, so we do have like a few that will match you know, the Marvin systems. We have a few that will match Pella and we have a few that will match Anderson. And so that has uh, really made life easier when we are trying to work in conjunction with those major three. And then on top of that, a lot of the other colors are being pulled from what they call the RAL palette or the RAL palette. So those are more of like an industry standard set of colors that people use across different manufacturers. That way, just within our standard offerings, we have a very good chance of matching, you know, whatever finish you are choosing from the, the standard window and door manufacturer. Nice. Beyond that, we actually get into offering the full RAL 200 palette. So there's an additional 200 colors oh that gosh. we have available. <laughs> Um, that you can use. So oftentimes, if we're not there with the 50 standard, 
were almost always there with the RAL 200. And then in a, um, you know, a case where, you know, none of those work, we offer the capability of doing custom match where you give us a chip from whatever color you're using, we'll send it to our matcher. We'll get a sample back to you to make sure this is approved and the color that you want to go with. And we'll actually do custom color matching to, wow. to other systems. So the operation of the systems on the folding and the, the uh, sliding glass wall systems, it's, it's a sill mounted or sill carries the bearing of those, of those units. Uh, do any of your units, are they hung from the, the heads of the units at all? They are actually, um, there's a few of each when it comes to the folding type systems, generally they're bottom supported. Um, so they are carrying the, the, the rollers at the floor and the, the weight is being supported by the floor. We do still have some top supported systems. Um, but in general, especially with our newest generation four systems of, uh, our suite of folding systems, those systems are all bottom supported. When we get into the single track sliding systems, which are again, are independently operated panels. They're a little bit different in function than the folding systems. Those are exclusively top mounted and hung from the top. So Nick, if you were building a new home and you were off, you were going to put this product in, in your home, what would, what would Nick do in his house? It's, it's funny that you <laughs> asked that question, uh, because it has been a dream of mine to do this. And I swear, uh, when my wife and I are looking at new homes, one of the criteria is where's the wall that the nano wall can go. <laughs> um, and so I, I happen to be a big fan of the aluminum clad system. Okay. I like the warmth of wood to the interior. I like the additional performance that it offers. Um, also the flexibility to change the finish of the interior with the space as it changes and ages, you know, if it say is off of a great room, um, and the walls are painted white and I want the system to match, you know, I have the ability to paint the wood to do so. Um, we may have a, an instance later where that room goes to a gray or, or a brown and we want to change the color of that wall. I like the ability to do that with the aluminum clad system. Sure. Um, so if I were to, and when I can, um, I'll be using our aluminum clad system aluminum because clad. I think it's a, a healthy balance of flexibility. It's one of the highest performing, um, and it is one of the easiest to operate systems. Okay. And that brings up a question too. Can you retro, can you put these doors, um, into an existing building already? You know, and it, even though it's an exterior wall? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, a good portion of what we do is retrofit work. Okay. Um, and that is a benefit of the folding systems being bottom supported as well. Uh, when you have a bottom supported system, a lot of times, you know, you, whether it's into a wood framed opening or a masonry opening that already has a pre-existing lintel, oftentimes you don't have to worry about adding additional structure. A lot of times it can accommodate a bottom supported system where the real load that it is taking is only going to be a little bit of lateral load from the cantilever. Uh, whereas retrofitting with a top supported system or a top, top hung system may be a little bit more difficult at times. You may need some structural reinforcement at the header to, to accommodate that amount of weight hanging off of it. Um, but a good portion of what we do is retrofit. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And then the nice part, um, or where we lend ourselves real well to that as well is Nanowall doesn't have any standard sizing. So everything is custom sizing. So no matter what size opening you have that we need to retrofit to, we'll build a model that will fit within those parameters. Um, we have a lot of people on our team that can come out and make sure, you know, we'll work with you to make sure that the sizing that is being ordered is going to fit in the, uh, the opening that's already existing. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of flexibility in, in the fact that they are, they're custom sized that helps in that retrofit world. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah that's a great point. Cause you know, when we're talking right now, we're kind of talking about these large feature walls that are massive in, in opening size. But a lot of times people are utilizing these, these systems uh, as an opening, a way to open the kitchen to a, to a patio area. And sometimes it's a, it's a merger of the two where the, where the uh, sliding wall system via operates as a door and it marries up to a series of paneled uh, opening that opens that kitchen up to that uh, patio area as well, which just extends the use of that patio area it's it's it, you really got to see some of the systems that they offer on their website it's it's an amazing product yeah we just we just got done filming with the the minnesota timber ranch deluxe home um and what i loved about that space was that um they almost treated it as like uh a, a covered porch or a four seasons room and extended you know they sealed it off from the you know opposite of what you just yeah. said they kind of sealed that area off from the rest of the home so when they open up that nano wall system 
Um, it just acts as another outdoor living space. It, it extends into the almost the interior of the home. Yeah, it, you, when you, when you see the, the video of that, it, it's just so welcoming. You can see doing a, a tailgate party at your house, watching the Packers, <laughs> and uh, just just the, the the ruckusness of that outdoor area. Yep. And then it's sealed to the inside of the home. So, you know, there, there could still be people that may not be into football and in, in more of a, a conversation area. Yeah. So it's, it is an awesome setup. I would, I would enjoy watching a game there, that's for sure. And I think um, a specific thing that you may be talking about here too is our, our window door combination. Um, so what's really cool about the folding systems, they're offered in a configuration that we call a window door combination, where half of the system to the left is going to be, you know, full height and going to be your door so that you can walk in and out of it. But that system without obstruction will continue onto the countertop where this indoor outdoor kitchen or this counter can actually blend the two spaces where you're, you know, you're, you're serving the food, making the food, washing dishes, making drinks, and being able to pass them right across that counter to the outside. That part is entirely open and then it blends with the door where you're going to walk through and actually enter and exit those spaces together. That's crazy. Yeah, I saw that video on your website. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> so Nick, do you guys offer installation options where you guys come out, install the door? Absolutely. And that is uh, encouraged. Um, every territory has certified installers and using the certified installers, you gain a little bit of peace of mind because that is what they do. The certified installer in our territory, they are Nanowall certified installers. That is, that is the entirety of what they do. They do it every day and they are very good at it. Um, with that, the certified installers, when you have them do this installation for your project, it is actually going to double portions of your warranty. So it's going to take some of the components that have a five-year warranty, extend that out to 10. The other benefit is the certified installers are also the service techs. So it creates a familiarity with your job. So after they've installed it and you, again, we hope doesn't happen, but you may have an issue, you can call them. They're going to come right out. They're very familiar with the way it went in. They know the surrounding conditions. They know the systems. Um, so it's beneficial in that capacity as well. What does the maintenance schedule look like on a, on a you know, a sliding wall system like we're talking about? Yeah. The maintenance schedule that we recommend is, is an annual maintenance schedule from these certified installers. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen as often as we would like it to. Um, but these systems are, are so robust, so well built that truthfully, I mean, I have customers who have, you know, have these installed 10 years ago um, that haven't touched them since and they're still working like it's day one. <laughs> Uh, of course, not something we recommend. We'd like to have you know people come out just like a car. I know it's a, an overplayed cliche, but you need to get an oil change from time to time. <laughs> and you know the investment that you put into something like this, you want to make sure that it's getting the absolute most longevity out of it. So if you have someone come out, you know every other year, I'd say is appropriate. You know, lubricate the rollers, take a look, make sure hinges are tightened down, just make sure everything's operating as it should. You can get a, a, a lot more use out of it at its maximum capacity. In the instance that there's not an installer in the area where the home is being built. Does Nanowall provide support for the general contractor so that he gets the, the door installed properly and uh, you know meets the customer's expectations? Yes, they absolutely do. They offer quite a bit of support. They do have an 800 number that you can call in where they have former installers that now work for Nanowall full time um, and they can help walk you through the, the basics and then the uh, more intricate details of how to install these walls. There's also a program where, you know, when you are installing these on a semi-regular basis, um, one of these certified pros that work for Nanowall will come out. They'll, you know, make sure you're doing things according to the way that they want them to be done. They will, you know, watch you install a few um, and then can approve you as an installer. Um, so they're what we call approved installers where, you know, you've done the right things, you've taken the right steps, you've done the, the class that they want you to do, and you can gain that extra warranty um, by, by doing a few of these yourself as well. So I think why a lot of people watch watch our video in this podcast is they're looking for you know the latest innovations, the newest products. Um, is there anything that's kind of in the works with Nanowall uh, that you're excited about that's coming up? So the biggest thing is we we had our release, um, and it is the Generation Four systems. It was something that we had been anticipating and waiting for for a while. Uh, and really, what it is is it's a whole new suite of folding systems that were built on a very similar chassis, is what I would say. Uh, whereas our, our third generation of folding walls were very independent. The wood system was a lot different than the aluminum system. The clad system was different than those. Um, and they were all great. But these generation four systems have a lot of similarities where the rollers are the same, the hinges are the same. So it offers a lot of flexibility um, in that capacity. 
it also is the narrowest offering or the slimmest lines of, of folding systems available on the market. So our new aluminum system has the, the narrowest frame uh, aluminum folding system available for exterior use available on the market now, which is going to give you the cleanest looks and maximize the glass, giving you the, the best views. And then on top of that, we've actually had a size increase um, to our, we call it the Ciro system, C-E-R-O. It's our minimal frame sliding glass wall. When we build these panels in triple glazed, we can now do 10 foot wide by 14 foot tall panels. Wow. Um, and that is just a single panel. So you can imagine the monumental size of these systems. Um, and when we're talking about trying to, you know, add view, and the way that I'd like to put it is, you know, with Nanowall, when you're doing a folding system, you are blending the interior and the exterior space. Uh, visually when it's closed, absolutely, but more so when it's open. When you're using this Ciro system, I believe that these spaces are now blended because of the size of the glass, even when the walls are closed. For sure, that, yeah, that's, that's pretty amazing, that, that size of glass. I, I think that's why most people, you know, our clientele is building these homes because they have a view. They want to take advantage of it and they want to um, capture that view as much as possible. And these, these systems do that outstanding. So Nick, as we talked earlier, you mentioned that there's 21 unique products in the NanoWall line. Uh, I believe I saw that uh, it's actually applications of mid-rise and high-rise uh, apartment complexes, as well as some uh, commercial applications like restaurants. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes. Um, so a good portion of what NanoWall does nowadays actually is into that, that mid-rise, high-rise, and, and commercial um, projects. Um, we have done, in, out of our territory, We've, uh, we've really done quite a few restaurants recently um, where maybe the private dining areas need to be you know, broken off from the main portion of the restaurant, um, but then they would like to you know, still be able to open that entire space if they want to use the entire floor uh, for restaurant space. Um, we've done a lot of stadium work. Um, we are actually in my territory. We are actually on guaranteed rate field where the Sox play. We're on Wrigley Field where the Cubs play, and we do have a few on Lambeau Field right now. If you guys have ever been in there um, to the Hall of Fame that's on the inside. That is our doors that actually enclose it when they want to close it down when they're when they're uh, not open. And then they will completely remove these doors and open it up so that you can gain entry to it. We actually are going to be doing quite a few of the suites uh, over at Lambo as well. Um, but what's really nice about the NanoWall systems is when you're in a residential application, you absolutely take care of this. You know the investment you put into it. You you treat it a certain way. Whether we want to admit it or not, in commercial applications, you know, the same tenderness or the same care might not be applied, but these doors are built in such a way where they're, they're just so robust and so strong and so durable that they're, they're, they're built for those type of applications. They're, they're meant to last in, you know, the harshest climate conditions as well as kind of the, the harshest, you know, uh, abusive system type conditions. And it's important to indicate that all of the mechanics of the doors, you know, walk over to the residential side. It's not a, a, a lower designed product. It's the same product that you're talking about being used in a commercial application that's being used in a residential application. Might have a different finish on the inside and the outside, but essentially it's the same mechanism. You're exactly right. Yeah, those same folding models that we use uh, for these applications in commercial is the same door that we're gonna put on the back of a, of a residential house, maybe in a three panel, nine foot by nine foot configuration. It brings that same level of quality and durability um, that's, that's usable in the commercial world to residential applications. Those systems then, because of the way that they are built, as you've alluded to, are also available to be used in, in mid and high rise. We've put systems um, on floors as high as the, you know, the 43rd floor in Chicago. Um, and some people may not know, but when you get up there, when you open it, you know, there's, there's a lot of wind, there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of, uh, it, it's a different world at, at 43 stories. <laughs> and uh, that system that, that we use up there that, that, that stands to those type pressures, again, are something that you, know, you could have entering your backyard at ground level. Um, so very strong, um, very versatile system. So Nick, if a, if a client wanted to purchase a NanoWall system, how would they go about doing that? How would they go about getting started? So the way that they're gonna get started in this purchase is by going to the NanoWall website, entering your zip code, in doing so, you will then be able to be forwarded on to your local rep. Your local rep will then start the design process that we've talked about here today. Uh, we'll make sure we get everything correct that's going to fit the space. Um, then we'll work out uh, a contract that we can get so you can get your product into production. Awesome. Well, thanks, Nick. We appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to be a part of this podcast. 
And uh, we look forward to collaborating with you on a few more projects in the future. Thank you. Imagine a life where your home is a work of art, where nature and luxury embrace with a custom Golden Eagle log and timber home. Our expert team is here to guide you every step of the way.